Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to fix Runtime Error 13 Type Mismatch. Type Mismatch errors are quite a common error to receive in your Visual Basic code. Um, they're also normally quite an easy error to fix. Uh, so here I have four examples. Now a type mismatch generally means that you're trying to apply a, a, a value or a property to some kind of uh, variable or you're trying to pass it to some kind of function and you're trying to pass the wrong variable type um, or the wrong data type. So in this first example, uh, I'm trying to assign a string to an integer variable. Uh, this causes an issue when I try to run the code. Uh, and that's because the when I'm declaring this variable here, I'm telling the computer I only want to store an integer. Uh, and what that means is that the uh, computer is only going to give me enough memory for it to store an integer value. Now here, when I'm trying to give it a string value, uh, the computer can't store that because a string takes up more memory than an integer. So there's not actually room within the computer's memory to, to hold that string. Um, and this holds true for many of the others. So uh, here we've got an example of calling a function which takes an integer. And again, we're passing it a string. Um, and that will generate a type mismatch error. Uh, here I'm trying to call a function, um, in this case the debug function, um, and I'm giving it a variable name, but it's actually uh, already a object name, it's the, the module name. Um, so this error actually comes up where if you try to use either a project name or a module name in, in place of a variable as well. Um, so try to avoid using naming any variables the same as what you would name one of your modules. And it also appears if you try and incorrectly call an array. So here I've forgotten to put what dimension of the array I want to uh, take from or what index of the array I want to take from. Um, so it thinks I'm trying to take the, uh, the wrong data type and so it debugs as a uh, type mismatch. So they're the four examples I had. Now I'm going to show you how to fix them. Um, so this one's quite easy. Um, I just need to, depending on how my code's running, either change this to a string or I need to assign it a integer value. Uh, so you just need to make sure that you're using the right type. Um, um, you're assigning variables the right data type. Uh, again, here um, I need to pass it an integer. Uh, here I just need to do a, a slightly different name thing. I probably wouldn't use module 12. I would use new variable. Um, this is something that you probably wouldn't get in other codes. It's very specific to VBA um, because VBA lets you create variables on the fly. Um, normally when I'm coding, I put option explicit uh, at the top. Um, and what that does is it will force me to define all of my variables. Uh, so I'll, I'll cover that in a, in a future episode in more detail. Um, and in this one, I just need to tell it which uh, array uh, value I want it to use. So that's it for type mismatch. Uh, if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below, or you can head over to our community discourse uh, where there should be lots of people around. So thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you again soon.